Good morning, guys. I woke up at 5 a.m. today, and I was like, I'm just gonna get up. <laughs> Uh, why not? I'd much rather that my body wake up at 5 a.m. than 10 a.m. You know, like, you're girl trying to get productive, trying to get your day started, and I'm not saying I'm doing this every day, but like, I'm trying to be mindful, like, if my body naturally just wakes up and I feel good, just get up. Like, there's no reason for me to stay in bed and like, try to be on my phone and try to fall back asleep, and so, yeah, this is one of my one of my habits and man i feel energized and i'm not saying that like my goal is to like wake up at like 5 a.m every day because i highly doubt that that's gonna happen but dude if i can naturally like start getting my body to wake up at least by like 7 a.m like that would be amazing amazing like i feel like i just I get so much done you know it's like 10 a.m and i'm like whoa i feel like i've already conquered the world oh my gosh i didn't have coffee yet the sun isn't even like risen yet like wow i'm really uh i'm really starting off strong Would you like coffee or tea? Americano or espresso? I don't know how I can express all my feels. We can take in the sun. I think it'd be fun. Even if it rains tomorrow. this year was Donya. I need to really, you know, start taking better care of my skin. Um, I don't normally like break out or have acne, uh, but one of my problems is that I do have extremely dry skin and then I have sensitive skin to just certain products and I know automatically I'm sensitive to them because I'll put it on and the whole day my eyes are watering, they're pink, I'm sniffling all day long. So I am so honored and excited about this partnership because they have been featured on Vogue, Glam, uh, Vanity Fair and it is Dime Beauty. First of all, pa packaging. I mean, like it is just so beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. We love it. I have been using Dime Beauty uh, for a month and a half now. I think it's been a month and a half, almost two months. Um, no issues. Nothing, nothing on my sensitive skin. Nothing sniffling. Um, every single day I wear this now. They're clean ingredients, no harsh chemicals, vegan, cruelty-free, free of parabens, sulfates, alcohols, um, and I, I can vouch for that. I have absolutely no issues with wearing this on my face every single day, and I love it. Dime's whole goal is having this luxurious skincare, beauty, wellness products, but a lower affordable cost for everybody. And if you don't necessarily know what to start off with, they do have bundles. So I have the works bundle. It has everything I honestly need. It has a uh, cleanser for my face to wash my face, serum, uh, hyaluronic acid, um, toner, day cream, a night cream. And that's really all I need. I'm just kind of keeping it simple. And I think that's personally better for me, but amazing. Like the hyaluronic acid and the hyperglow I use every single day, those two serums, the combination, I love it. Like, look at my skin. Like, this is, I just washed my face, and this is how my skin looks just putting the serum on. It is absolutely amazing. It just soaks into the skin so well. And the day cream, the day cream is on another level though, okay? The moisturizer is probably one of my favorite products because it just, it is so incredibly smooth. Like, yes, it's a moisturizer, but like, there's something about it that just, every time after the fact I touch my skin, Oh my gosh, it is so like smoothing and soft on my skin, obsessed. Also, I don't know about you guys, but this area right here, like right over my nose is like 
one of my super dry areas especially during this time of year so i'm always like i'm always like extra with it you know around here and this does such a good job like moisturizing my skin right around my nose and like all those dry areas like i can feel the difference like probably within an hour i'm not gonna even lie like i'm like oh snap she did that. They also offer free returns for up to 60 days and free shipping on orders $49 or more. If you guys want to check Dime Beauty out, please, please do yourself a favor and do so. It's so amazing. You guys can use my discount, Donya20, for 20% off. They also have um, like a brow gel and an eyelash serum that I heard is amazing. So you know your girl's about to get your hands on those. But go ahead and check them out. And thank you, Dime, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Good morning. Guys, say good morning, Hazel. Oh, her ears. Oh my goodness. Hazel's ears. Look at her ears. Her ears are popping up. You're going up so fast. You're going up so fast, my papas. Let's take you outside so you can potty, okay, my loves? Let's go. Come. Oh, potty, Hazel. Sorry, guys. <laughs> good poopy. Good girl. I taught her how to sit yesterday. Oh, you said him and tell you, good girl. Good sit. So Hazel's gonna be nine weeks tomorrow. Um, she's still eight weeks now, but her ears pop. Like I just can't. Hazel, sit. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good sit. Oh, you wanna lay down right next to mama? Okay. You can do that, Bubbas. You can do that. Good girl. She is growing up so fast. I feel like I'm a mom. I don't know what to do. Like, she's just growing up right before my eyes, you know? Oh, oh my God. She thinks it's a game. Where is she? <laughs> she's like, she's like chasing this camera. You showing them how you sit, Bumbas? Oh, oh, she don't like you. <laughs> she don't like the camera. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we are winding down the evening. I did my makeup earlier, and then I got my nails done to just oh, kind of matches matches this little periwinkle spring vibe. Still wearing my elf. Elf pajamas, why not? Having a protein bar, enjoying some uh, Alani new. Oh, sorry guys, I had to switch rooms because my dogs were going crazy and I was not even able to hear my own thoughts. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit of like my goals this year. Um, and I'm curious to hear about yours as well. And I think it's always nice to kind of like look back on this video or if you end up commenting something and then you forget that you commented and then this video pops up or something and then you're able to go back like on your old comment and see your goals. Um, but I realized, I don't know, I feel like every year I'm just like, I'm learning more about myself as a person, um, how I react to things or if like a certain event happens on how I act like on that situation or how I handle things and how I say things and do things and I'm always like hmm like I didn't know I was this kind of person or like I'm learning about myself and what I don't like and and what I do like and I don't know this year I don't know I just was like I want to dedicate time to myself and I feel like that's a very fairly common thing to say you know I want to take care of myself obviously mentally and physically I think that's always like an important thing you know and I think that's a lot of people's goal most of the time right I don't know I you know, I'm going to be honest, sometimes I watch, um, like, some YouTubers, like, they have these morning routines or just these routines, and they're just so, like, some people, not even YouTubers, but some people just are so goal-oriented, or they're able to just, like, plan things out in their life, and I think I've just come to the conclusion that I'm just, like, not that type of person and that's okay like yes I have dreams for myself but I just feel like with life like nothing goes according to plan like absolutely nothing I mean, if you're one of those people that you plan it happens that's amazing but not for me and so I've become very like I would say go with the flow but also I do have 
like some sort of plans or goals but I understand if those don't happen and you know at the end of the day I'm a believer so for me if things don't happen according to my way I have a greater understanding that there's a better more bigger more amazing way that things are going to happen according to God's plan for my life um but back to just like taking care of myself I was just like, these people just like, I don't know, like sometimes their stuff is just so aesthetic and everything is so organized in their bathrooms and I'm just like, you don't want to see my bathroom right now, like it's just, I'm a, ugh, I need to get better, that's, that's one of my goals this year. I need to take time for myself to actually do things and get things done and I'm not gonna lie, I'm just like, ugh, I don't know, like I don't even know how to take time for myself, like what does that even mean or like what do I want to make time for? And I realized like I really want to make time for things. Like, these are my small goals that I want to make time for that I feel like would make me a better person. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so lost in my thoughts. But I guess my goals for this year are taking time for myself and doing things that bring me joy, peace, and make me a better person a better wife, a better daughter, a better sister, a better friend, a better um, like human being just overall. Like how can I be better and how, how can I make time for myself that I am this way? And I think it's really important because I was just thinking like what are the little things that I actually really enjoy that I, that I just put me in a good mood, you know, that just make me at peace and just is fun to me and taking more time to do that and so one of my goals is I actually really enjoy cooking like I'm not the I'm not the best but I really enjoy like chopping like getting down in the kitchen like putting my favorite tv show on and just like watching something and cooking just like enjoying that by myself I don't know like that's something that I really really enjoy doing it's like my me time and so one of my goals is to kind of explore more foods like I just really want to explore brand new recipes and really like I love the whole uh, you know from the beginning like chopping every little thing and making every little sauce and like doing all that um, I think it's such a fun process and it just like I don't know keeps me keeps me going I guess another goal of mine this year is definitely strengthen my relationship with Jesus I just um you know, want to get really into the Bible and the Word, and sometimes it's, like, hard to do that, because it's just, like, I don't know, it's just, like, where do I even start, and I don't know, it's just, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, why is it so hard to make time for, and so I want to focus more on doing, like, little devotionals, or just spend 10 minutes with God, um, like, doing a little prayer, a little worship session, um and things like that so i definitely want to work on that one of my other goals which i mentioned before but um i really want to strengthen my body this year like i just really want to want to do more like lifting like nothing like, i'm not talking about you know, heavy lifting like nothing crazy but i do want to tone up more um and just like strengthen myself and my body because um i've been feeling weak and i'm like i need to get i need to get a little stronger like i love that feeling when you just feel good and strong so I want to get there another one of my goals would be to um book something like book a little role like I don't even care if it's like one line on a show but uh, it's interesting because it's like I've been working on this for so many years on you know ugh, this is like ugh. it's such a it's I don't like if you guys notice I don't talk about this topic or I sometimes I kind of glance at it a little bit but my dream has always been acting and you know since I was a little girl I knew that and um you know I was a theater kid like I was in all the plays and it's always been my passion and so it's such a competitive industry already to be in um but I'm very blessed to even like be able to audition for certain networks and shows and movies like I every time I submit an audition I'm like I can't believe I just auditioned for this casting director for this show like it's so crazy my goal is to book something anything I just want to book 
something, okay? I just, I've been working on it for so long and so hard and I'm just ready. I'm really, really ready and once that happens, I, I can't wait to share more about that and like my journey in that side of things. Something that I've been struggling a lot lately with is time, which I'm sure many of us have. Um, I feel like I'm constantly trying to catch up with time and catch up with things. And as I'm doing that, I feel like I'm not in the present. And then, like, the present ends up being the past all of a sudden. And I'm like, what just happened? Like, that's already over. And I'm trying to, I don't know. I just feel like I'm constantly racing against time. And it's just going. Like, it's, it just moves on. So, it's just like, how do I take a moment to just be in the present and enjoy these little things and like make that time for myself and that is hard to do okay I don't know if it's just me but I feel like making the actual time like saying oh I'm gonna do this for myself yada 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 that's great but then doing that like taking the actual time to do that for yourself it's hard like, it's, like, really hard because we all live busy lives and, and things happen. And all of a sudden, it's, like, I don't know. It's just, like, oh, sometimes I'm, like, can can time just, like, freeze for a day so I can catch up on all the things that I want to do and catch up on? And it's, like, that's not happening ever. It's never happening. So it's just, like, we just got to keep going, you know? Two years ago, I was a very planny person. Um, I was a very, this is going to happen, yada, 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 and things didn't happen. Things happened, but not what I expected or planned. I think things happened even better than I could have imagined, honestly. Um, but there were a lot of disappointments on the things that I really wanted to happen. And so that has caused me to be very, um just less planny and more let's see what happens today it'd be nice if i can get this this and this done and and i'm gonna put time into things that i know bring me peace happiness joy but i understand if things don't happen as well and it's taught me to have a lot of patience and i feel like i've become a lot more chill and calm about things as well uh, because it's okay. You know, things will always work out the way that they're meant to work out. How cliche does that sound and cringe, right? It's like everyone says that, but it's just, it's true. Um, things just happen the way they're supposed to happen, and a lot of the times that's just beyond our control. All we can do is things that we can control, and for me, it's the small little things that I can do. If I start thinking of doing these big, big goals and things, I get really overwhelmed and I can't do it. And then I'm just like done. But if I, you know, I'm a very simple, I'd rather have a simple mind. Like I'm a very simple minded person. The more simple something is, the less I think it might be overwhelming or hard to do. And I'm able to get that more simple thing done. And that's just something I've learned about myself as well. But I don't know. Thank you for joining me on this chat. I love to chat with you guys. I feel like it's been a while. I just, I feel like I always say this too, but at the end I'm like, is anybody even like listening or watching anymore? But a lot of times I feel like I might say things that might relate to one of you guys or like maybe you guys are feeling the same way. And so I just share. Here I am all alone in this little room speaking to a camera, you guys. But then like, you know, when it gets uploaded, it's this whole video that gets uploaded with, you know, that thousands of people can watch. So that's always great. Um, it doesn't feel that way when you're filming at the moment. <laughs> then you put it online and it's like, whoa, people saw that. So, but I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.